today we're in Toronto, we're gonna check out Fragbox. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Dudes. I'm here with March, the owner of Fragbox, checking out this awesome store. I've ordered from you guys online, first time I've ever been here. So. Nice. Thank you. Welcome to uh, the Frag Box. You're in the yeah. box right now. Yeah, excellent. So what do you guys want to know? I want to give us a little tour. Just tell us about your store or business. Uh, so actually, this is a good time you guys are coming because it's March and this is our 10 year anniversary in business. So March in March. So March Madness <laughs> sales coming up soon. This is our third location. Um, we're here now two years. Our yep. old location five years across the street. But I'm really happy with the way this one came out. Uh, what else can I tell you about it? This is our main display. So this one is a 90 gallon uh, custom made and it's a little bit deceiving because everyone says you got so many fish in there but what you don't see in the basement mm -hmm. it ties into like a larger four or five hundred gallon sort yep. of frag system nice yeah so that's a little bit of a hack going on so do you do that more for propagation downstairs yeah, than more propagation the frags? and then yeah we're trying to be sustainable with what's going on in indonesia oceans mm -hmm. everything around the world so uh, you know, if Australia shuts down the way Indonesia has, I don't know how long this hobby is, uh, is sustainable. So we're trying, we're setting up a thousand gallon frag system, start growing easy stuff like Zoa, Xenia, GSP, yep. yeah. See yep. if we can keep the hobby going. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. I, I think long term it's actually might be, you know, all the hobbies and vendors and whatever you're kind of stockpiling growing up Absolutely. Yourself. If we don't start doing something now, we're all going to have clownfish and Xenia in five years. Yep. So I think start saving the ones that, that we can grow and then... Uh, try and make the hobby somewhat somewhat sustainable. So 10 years in business, congrats. 10 years in business, awesome. yeah. I started out of my mom's basement in a yep. small, uh, almost like a cantina. Mm -hmm. And then she kicked me out of the house because it got busy in there. So out of my own garage and then, yeah. Yep. But I guess that's a good way to start. If anyone's thinking to kind of get into something like this and fragging, mm -hmm. you know, start with low um, overhead. Yep. Start from home, build the clientele. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I think that's how, how a lot of the stores like this uh, start, right? Yep. End up as hobbyists and then, exactly. and then move it into a store, yep. So you guys do a lot of sales online. Do you do more online or in store, do you think? Uh, right now we're about half, half. Uh -huh. It depends on the season. So yep. uh, summertime in the store is absolutely dead. Yeah. And then we push on the online and then winter we're about half, half. Yeah. yeah. No, right. right on. Awesome. Very cool setup in here. Yeah. Yeah. On these tanks here, we're using yeah. the Radions just to give a little nod to Ecotech. Very happy with these lights. Good choice. Yeah. Good choice. Yeah. If I could <laughs> yeah. afford it, I would, I, I'm old school. I like the yeah. T5, mm -hmm. but um, for the softies LPS, I, I do really well with these. Really yeah. happy with the Radions. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, I'm running extra 15s on my tank too. Like them? Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, it's, this, this is the top of the top, right? Yeah. It doesn't using, get much better. I'm using extra 15s with the diffuser, which I feel is kind of in the middle between LED kind of T5 blend, kind of halfway there. Yeah. Yeah. We had the aquatic light. Uh, have you seen their hybrid fixtures? Yeah. On here for a while, but I found that uh, we got crazy dyno and I couldn't figure it out. We mm -hmm. took them off, everything went back to normal. So oh, nice. I think just maybe too much light. It's a funny Could setup because very shallow, yep. really wide. So mm -hmm. yeah. these ones look separate. Mm -hmm. But actually in the basement, they tie into a large 1400 gallon nice. system. Yeah, I'll show you guys it. Okay. And then those ones, we just trying to plumb into this. So we're mm -hmm. trying to do less work basically because we were up to eight systems. Yeah. So I oh, found like... by maintain one giant one. Yeah. So those two, we condensed into this. This nice. guy, I'm going to drill through the floor, connect to here. Nice. Yeah. Even yeah. the fish, we're going to do maybe a separate fish system. Yeah. Oh, that'll be awesome. Make yeah. it like, much easier. Yeah, we only do the captive bed clowns, so, so it's, it's pretty easy already. We don't have to deal too much with like ick and paras uh, external parasites and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's kind of us trying to be sustainable, at least with the fish. Yep. I don't want to support the bad fishing practices. So oh, That's awesome. But then I also have a bunch of wild caught in here, so it's kind of, you know, I'm a little bit uh, yeah. of a hypocrite, but at least to... to Leaning more towards to, it. To, yeah, trying to be, yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, I can show you down there, but just... Uh, that's my water coming down for the first tank beside the window. Mm -hmm. There's the second tank where the SPS is. And yep. then the third one, they go into that 80 ga uh, 75 gallon in the back there. Mm -hmm. So basically so much water flowing, I couldn't figure out a way to like get the detritus out. Yep. You know, socks and flow, it wasn't working. It was just mm -hmm. exploding. So that's just basically a, a shit settling tank. Yep. So we'll go in once a month and just siphon out all the crap that lands there. Mm -hmm. Here we got uh, Bubble Magus Curve 9 Skimmers. I like yep. to run two of everything because if one stops, yep. then we have Lice. the back. Yeah, I learned that the hard way too. So it loops around into the skimmers. This is our skimmer kind of collection chamber. Yep. So we let it fill to the top and then the apex sends us an alarm. And we hit this pump right here and then it'll empty all the skim waste back to the oh, that's nice. city of Toronto. So we don't do too much with the skimmers. It's semi-automatic, I would say. Oh, very nice. Yeah, that's our auto top off reservoir yep. right there. That's our saltwater 200 gallon mixing tank, which kind of goes to every mm -hmm. system. So like if we want to add salt to the display tank, yeah. we'll open this 
then open this. So we don't, there's no buckets involved. There's everything's, we call it semi-automatic. Yeah, nice. Yeah, just all, that's all we really have to do is move valves like that. That's easy, yeah. good way to plan it out. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, third store. So then all the things we wish we did the first two times. Yeah, every store gets a little easier, a little easier. A little easier, man, yeah. for sure. So that's uh, just some stuff we're trying to culture. Mm -hmm. Uh, lights won't come on until later in the day. Yeah. Yeah, but there's some cool stuff in there. And then our live rock, because it's all frag tanks, mm -hmm. we don't have any live rock upstairs. This yep. is just uh, a couple hundred pounds of rock down here mm -hmm. with some more floss because I just don't want the, any detritus to get into the rock. Yeah. And then this one is just the return pumps and some uh, GFO. Nice. But we to change every, maybe every month. Phosphates yeah. and nitrates are usually pretty low in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we're using Apex for the entire store. Yep. You can see the jumble of wires up there, lots mm -hmm. of wires, yeah. I tried to do a nice board and start clean when we moved here, and then eight EB8s after, there's no making it clean. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, there's too much going on. So how much do you actually have to dose per day with so all these this tanks? This main system's taking 250 mils of elk right now, Yeah. and about 200 of calcium. I don't know why I always take up more elk than calcium, almost every system. Yeah, I've done the same on my I thing. don't understand why the chemistry behind it, but it takes more. We're using mm -hmm. no pox on this one too. Yep. For the nitrates. Mm -hmm. uh, but it depends, because like if we sell all the acro, we have a busy weekend. Yeah. And we gotta quickly test because our alk we're dosing 250 mils of alk, like mm -hmm. we have hundred colonies, but now the hundred colonies are gone, right? Yeah. So we have to adjust the alk. Uh, we're testing twice a day on this system, morning and night. Mm -hmm. That's what I find is the main killer is is the alk. And because yeah. it's not a normal system, your system at home, you're not taking out all your acro in one day. Mm -hmm. Our, they can happen here, you know, if we get busy. So this one we pay a lot more attention to. This is just a little QT. Um, there's some clients that request certain fish. Yep. Uh, what do we do here? Hypo and copper, that's about it. Three, four mm -hmm. weeks, yeah. So they're yes. a little bit more expensive. Everything runs off RO. Full stores RO, we got three of these things running almost 24-7. <laughs> they never turn off. The water bill is crazy. Oh, I believe yeah. it. Electricity's up there, yeah. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Yes. It looks complicated, but it's pretty. It's just, yeah. I couldn't find a, a sump that was 16 feet long, so we ended up doing sort of Chain multiple tanks. Yeah, a mishmash. It, it started with just these two, mm -hmm. and then we knew we wanted more, so we built this large stand and then kind of Frankenstein it as we went. Nice. Yeah, it worked. March, thanks so much for the tour. Yeah, um, man. If people want to check out your store or order something online, where do they go to? Uh, www.fragbox.ca. Pick up the phone, call us anytime, seven days a week. And just for the Reef Dudes followers, you can use coupon code REEFDUDES2019 to get $20 off any online order over 100 bucks. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks so much, Marshall. Yeah, Appreciate no problem. It. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah.